Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tim with Tomes and Tales. Today I'm reviewing what is arguably one of the greatest science fiction novels of all time, Dune by Frank Herbert. I'm really excited to talk to you about this one. Now, what is it about? Well, in the far future, the galaxy is ruled by an emperor and the other great houses. Now, there is only one commercial product in the galaxy that allows for the empire to function, the spice melange. And there is only one place where the spice is found, the desert world Arrakis, otherwise known as Dune. Paul's father, Duke Leto Atreides, is granted stewardship of this inhospitable yet important planet, angering the Duke's enemy, House Harkonnen. When the Atreides are eventually betrayed, young Paul is set on a path to becoming something more than just a man. Like all great science fiction novels, Dune possesses thought-provoking concepts and detailed world-building. Religion, politics, even the environment all play into one another, and they also vie for supremacy. It shows styles and leadership and what it takes to survive in a world with so much history and culture with differences that go to the extremes. I really thought the worlds felt real and lived in rather than just decorative backdrop. Every character in this, story, in this book is worth knowing. However, I don't want to make it seem like Dune is perfect by any means. Dune is no exception. It is a bit slow at times, and there are bouts of head hopping that may throw some readers off. Now, I think it could have benefited by having more chapters written in the antagonist's point of view, seeing how they were thinking. There are some characters in this uh, story also that just seem to have only one purpose, and that is to prop up the hero. Now, there's no doubt Dune is an important addition to the world of science fiction, but some casual fans may get bored with it at times. There are some really exciting scenes, but they are also over with very quickly, leaving us with some long and arduous buildup. Still, the world building is a first-class masterpiece, one that rivals Tolkien and, the so and A Song of Ice and Fire. It's a, it is a must-read, in my opinion, for aspires, aspiring... I guess uh, so we should say aspiring science fiction writers, especially those that want to write political and religious intrigue. To the casual fan, though, well, you know, I'd still recommend it putting on your TBR because it is really good. But as always, I suggest that you try it for yourself and make up your own mind. Again, thank you for joining me today. If you like what I do, consider liking and subscribing. Or you could check out my own book, Baltimore City. I'll leave a link to it below. Everyone have a wonderful day, stay safe, and have a happy reading experience.